weather with Grant Dade is sponsored by St. Francis Healthcare System. As we take a live look from Perryville, you can see the flags are flying here. We got that northeasterly wind, but we also have some pretty dry air, especially for this time of the year in sunny skies. That's why Perryville is kind of sitting in the uh, low 90s at 91 right now, thanks to all that sunshine out there, even with that northeasterly wind. But eventually this northeasterly wind is going to bring in slightly cooler temperatures. And by slightly cooler, I mean by two or three degrees. So it's not much, but it'll be slightly below average. <clears throat> by two or three degrees. All right, we've got those showers in our eastern counties wrapping around. This activity will likely start to weaken over the next couple of hours and then really diminish around the sunset time. You can see that uh, <clears throat> for our western counties, it's pretty clear. This green specks that you've been seeing here every once in a while is a, a field fire. I've been checking this out. There's, these have been little puffs of smoke, if you will, that have been going through the area. No rainfall in uh, those areas of southeast Missouri. Let's take a look at future cast. You can see the activity weakening right around and shortly after sunset. Some morning clouds possible across the area and then sunshine once again tomorrow, but that northeasterly wind will usher in a few clouds during the afternoon hours. A couple of isolated showers, not out of the question, kind of like what we saw today. They'll be very few and far between. Most of us will remain dry, unfortunately, because we could all use a little bit of rain and it doesn't look like we're going to get much as we head throughout the next few days. Now, Wednesday night, fairly quiet out there. The one change Futurecast has, I guess we could say flip flopped on is remember yesterday it had all this cloud cover across the entire area. Now, other models are still showing a mostly cloudy start to the day on Thursday, but becoming mostly sunny in the afternoon. So we'll watch to see how that uh, how that folds, unfolds, because that could make uh, a big change in the temperature forecast for you Thursday. If we start to warm up right at sunrise, it'll be a degree or two warmer than anticipated. As we head towards Thursday evening, fairly quiet, and then Friday will roll around, and Friday it is going to warm up, folks, and we're going to really warm up as we head into the weekend. All right, let's take a look at tomorrow's planner. Uh, 7 o'clock in the morning, upper 60s and low 70s across the area. Fairly typical for this time of the year. Shortly after the lunch hour, we'll see temperatures low 80s east, mid 80s, low to mid 80s in southeast Missouri. Again, a little more cloud cover in our eastern counties, kind of like what we saw today. And during the late afternoon hours, we'll be seeing those temperatures getting into the upper 70s with a few showers possible from Marion down to Murray. But you could see mid 80s from uh, the Mississippi River west. Could be a couple of mid to upper 80s in our far, far western counties. All right, let's take a look at that extended forecast. You can see that we'll see 84 on Thursday, 89 on Friday, really begin to heat up with that sunshine. And then as we head towards Saturday, 93, it's going to be pretty hot out there. Saturday night after midnight into the pre-dawn hours on Sunday, we could see a complex of thunderstorms move in. So we're watching that. Then most of Sunday during the daytime looks dry. We heat up into the low 90s and by the late afternoon hours into the evening hours on Sunday, another round of thunderstorms will be possible. So we'll be watching Sunday closely.